Don't miss a beat, join the notification squad by clicking that bell, you'll get notified every time I upload a video, and be sure to join our Discord to talk and get help with your code. Hello everyone, my name is Best and welcome back to a brand new series on the Source Code channel. This is going to be a Vue.js tutorial series where I'll be explaining how Vue works, what you can do with it, and we'll be making some awesome applications. So let's just get right started. A really good example of a Vue.js uh, website is Discord.js and I'll be explaining what Vue.js is alongside their website. So this is the uh, Discord.js um, website and Vue is quite an interesting thing. It's a framework that allows you to create websites that are made out of, of different components. So instead of writing one big uh, file and doing some JavaScript and that kind of stuff, making it look good, you build different components that all do their own thing. And what's interesting about Vue is that it's progressive. So uh, instead of loading new pages and going to different URLs, it's all done on one page, which is uh, the main page. And different components are swapped out for different components when they need to be. So we're right now on the home page. So when we go to documentation, for instance, you can see that it didn't reload the website. It just went to a really cool animation and it replaced some of the content. Now, if we go to different web pages, you can see that it switches out components. And then you can do some awesome things about this stuff and it all works pretty well and it's really uh, useful to use in a lot of cases. So how do we get started with Vue? If you go to the homepage, viewjs.org, you will uh, get on this landing page and we can just click the get started button and we'll jump to this page where we can see a lot about Vue.js and how it works. And um, the main part where you start is the introduction and that is where the first tutorial will be um, based off of it will feature a lot of this uh, introduction part because it's really a good step into learning Vue.js. Before we get started which is an important thing is that they say it on the side as well um, you should know some basic HTML CSS and JavaScript we have a JavaScript tutorial series on the source codes you can go watch that um, if you don't have JavaScript tutorials, you, you should watch that because there's a lot of JavaScript involved and it just helps you uh, get into it easier. So Vue does need to be installed and there's a couple of ways that we can use Vue. We can uh, use it directly by using this URL for development, use this URL for production, or we can use the Vue CLI. They don't recommend using the Vue CLI for beginners because it's quite complicated. So we'll just stick with the development version that we can use here. So to get started with Vue, you can just make a uh, folder on your computer. I've made mine in a projects folder and called it Vue. And then you can open that in your favorite text editor. I'll be using Atom or you can use an IDE. You can use whatever you want. So first of all, you need to make a file which is going to be index.html. And uh, Vue allows you to uh, make uh, applications across multiple files. It's really useful for uh, making something maintainable and easy to develop. For the first couple of tutorials, we'll just be using a single file, which will make it easy to explain things. So I have Emmet installed, which means I can type explanation part and then tap. And then I can change this to Vue.js. And if you want, uh, you can just copy this right now. It's just a basic layout for a website. So then we can go back, we can copy this link right here. We can go to the editor and we can paste that somewhere in the head. So this is all that we need right now for installation of Vue. So how does Vue work? Vue is basically a component that we can uh, call and there is a class and to call it I'll make a const app equals new 
view and then I need to switch real quickly between languages because then my uh, syntax highlighting works for JavaScript. And so this is basic syntax for creating the, the main application. Uh, const app equals new view. And that takes an element, which is going to be hashtag app. And um, that's basically already it. This element is a uh, HTML element that we haven't created yet. So we can create a div with the name app. And this will actually get this div element and create a view application out of it. So now we can open this in our browser and you will see that nothing has happened yet, but we can log app into console and it's an instance of the view class. So what can we do with view? Uh, there's a lot of things that you can do to make development really easy. There's a lot of cool things, but the main uh, first step that we can take is uh, logging uh, hello world or putting hello world up into the application. So what we can do under element, we can say data and then create an object. And this is all global data that the uh, view application will hold. So we can say a message with the content of hello world. And then uh, the app has a, a data uh, with a message and then inside the uh, div we can put two curly braces and then message message is the uh, property of the data object and if we go back to a browser we can see it log it puts hello world up into the html so that is an easy way of templating using view. Um, this is just an easy step of doing something. So what we can do now is we can make it so that some things display when we want it to and some things don't. So for instance, if we put scene to true, uh, then we can wrap this in a header. So now we can put a uh, view uh, attribute on this element and view attributes are prefixed with v dash. And uh, in the case of this example, I want to display hello world if scene is set to true. So what we can do is we can see say v if and then equals and then quotation marks if scene and then this. So this is basically an h1 if seen then display this stuff if we go here we'll see it's an h1 with hello world if we change scene to false we will see that it won't show so we can use uh, we can use if statements inside of our HTML by adding an attribute of v if scene now what's actually really cool about view is that it uses observables and observables are a way of checking if data changes so if we go to our browser and we type app dot scene equals false it will actually change the content of the page right away because it listens for a change on scene and whenever that changes, it will update automatically. So if you put this back to true, write and type, we will see it pops back up. Now what we can even do is we can go app.message equals the source code. And it will change the content right away. So we can dynamically change the content and we don't have to update anything ourselves. We can just update attributes or um, uh, global variables in view and it will automatically change our HTML for us. Now there's another thing that we can do and that is uh, use for loops for instance. So I am going to make an un or unordered list with a list element inside of it and I want to I'm just going to remove what we have up here and remove this 
and I want to make a to-do list. So I'm going to add to-do and to-do is going to be an object or no, to-do is going to be an array of elements. So the first thing is learn JavaScript. Second one is learn view, make awesome things, get good. So we have a global variable to do with an array of four elements. Now what if we want to display that, that information, those to do's inside of this unordered list? Well, view has a v4 attribute which we can add and we can say for to do and I'm going to change this to to do's for to do in to do's I want to put the to do inside of this so I have an unordered list with a list element for each to do in to do's we will put to do inside of it and it's quite a strange way of explaining it but down the line it will make a lot of sense how it actually works so if we do that we will see it will load our four uh, bullet points into the HTML and what's really cool is that if we want to change this so app dot to do's dot push by X we will see that right away it will add the element to it so we can for instance make a to-do list that will automatically update the entire HTML and it won't take hundreds of lines of JavaScript but just as a three lines of JavaScript and a couple of uh, HTML elements. So this is going to be it for the first tutorial. If you enjoyed it be sure to drop a like and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more and I will see you in the next tutorial.